Today I would like to talk about something that brings great joy to my life, my children. I have two, a six-year-old little girl and my son who is three. They are so full of personality and energy and I cherish every moment with them. It is amazing to watch them grow and especially to witness how quick they learn. My six-year-old has always impressed me with how well she can speak and the knowledge, both pertaining to education and the gospel, that she has been able to grasp at such a young age. Little dude is growing and learning super fast now, too, and often surprises me with information I had no clue he'd already picked up. They are fantastic and definitely help me keep perspective on what is really and truly important. I wish to give them the best, and the best thing I can do is love them and be the best example I can for them. But today, I would like to discuss how they are an example to me and help me to be better. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 15 through 17, we read, And they brought unto him also infants, that he would touch them. But when his disciples saw it, they rebuked him. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Suffer little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. In these verses we see that we are to learn from the children and be more like them. This doesn't mean to be childish in general, but more childlike in specific ways. The first thing I will mention about them is how eager to learn they are. Granted, sometimes they may not be so interested in learning exactly what you are trying to teach at that moment, but they are learning. Everything they see and hear, they are trying to figure it out, trying to learn how things work and what different things mean. So the excitement to learn is a critical component of being like a child in the good sense. The next is childlike humility and teachability. Especially when it comes to gospel learning, they embrace it and love it wholeheartedly when introduced to it from a young age. They absolutely know that God is real. They fully accept that Jesus Christ is who he is, that he did what he did, and that it happened for them and for us all. We should all believe in the way my children believe. Children fully believe in the miracles taught from the scripture, that they happened, and they trust they can and will happen in their lives too. So powerful is the faith of the little ones. There is a wonderful innocence to childhood that so many of us wish we could get back to, and I'd like to say the following. We can, sure, we can't unlearn knowledge of the bad in the world and the terrible stuff that has happened to us, but we can embrace the hope and certainty of early childhood. We can accept the miracles described in the scripture as fact, because they are, and we know that God is the same God today that he was in biblical times, so those same miracles are available to us. As you listen to the prayers of a child, you can be amazed at the trust they place in their Heavenly Father. Sure, you'll hear them express gratitude for a new gecko figure like my son did tonight, even requesting blessings for said toy. But it will be fully felt and matter-of-fact in a way some adults struggle with. But you'll also hear prayers given the way my daughter gives them, with such a pure belief that she is being heard and her prayers will be answered. Oh, to pray like that. Don't get me wrong, I know full well that God can answer my prayers, but sometimes I struggle with if he will, or how long it will take, or in what way he will answer them. But a child's prayer is so much stronger. I'd like to go one further. The scripture says that with the faith of a mustard seed, we can move mountains. But I suggest the following. With the faith and belief of a child, those mountains will surely move. The kingdom of heaven belongs to those who believe and have hope like unto little children. The power that is within the grasp of righteous men and women who will trust in God the way a child trusts their mommy and daddy. The blessings that await us as we love God the way our children love us. How much do we want to make the lives of our children better? How hard do we strive to give them the best? How ready are we to help them through any struggle they are in? 
God loves us like that times a million. We cannot comprehend the love that God has for us as his children. We can't comprehend the infinite love of the Savior for us. As we turn to the gospel, as we turn to God, as we turn to the Savior Jesus Christ, we are to trust as little children the divine promises of help that have been extended to us. Learn the truths of the gospel with the eagerness of a child. Trust in scriptural truth with the pure belief of a child. Love God and live according to his ways with the determination of a child intent on making their mommy and daddy proud. Believe that miracles aren't just possible in your life, but that they absolutely are going to happen. With faith like a child, the very heavens will be open to you and blessings will pour out. Allow yourself to hope. Allow yourself to believe. Allow yourself to know, like a child, that all things truly are possible. Believe and know. May God bless each of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.